My name is Art Herrera. I work for Transit. I'm a motor coach operator, and I've been with the city since late February. As a motor coach operator, uh, my involvement with ABQ Ride, I'm part of the extra board team. We are basically the team that does all the routes. I don't have a set route. You won't see me just on Central. You won't see me just on Juan to Bowl. You'll see me throughout the whole city, which is interesting because I don't do the same thing every day. I do something different every single day. It brings a lot of excitement my way and a lot of hours to top it off. My ABQ Ride story, um, while well, I applied in February, February I applied, I actually failed my physical in February at Employee Health. Um, I went in there feeling great, you know? I was in good shape, I thought, so I thought. Uh, you know, I took the, the urine test, everything, and they said I had sugar in my yeah, sure. I had sugar in my urine and I thought, okay, and it's not illegal, you know, no problem. Mm -hmm. But come to find out, they're like, no, let's test your blood. Um, that day was the day I found out that I was diabetic. I never knew I was diabetic. I thought, you know, I didn't think any much of it. I said, okay, so I'm diabetic. And she said, no, you don't understand. Boom, she failed me. She said, no, can't move forward. So from there, I was freaking out. I was like, what do you mean I can't drive? She said, you need to get a... Um, primary care physician, get it controlled, all that. Uh, good thing for me, I was already hired by the city of Albuquerque, so I had uh, benefits as of day one. There's a lot of jobs you can't, you gotta wait 90 days, six months, or open enrollment to get benefits. Fortunately for me, it's with the city, I had benefits on the very first day. So what I did, uh, I immediately jumped on it, you know? They didn't let me go, they actually put me at the fuel station. I worked on my health, I got my diabetes on check, uh, I lost about 45 pounds, and then I reapplied, went back to uh, employee health, I passed, and I've been here ever since, and it's been great, you know, now it's time to make some money. A good ABQ ride story, I would say one day I was doing the San Mateo route and um, I seen a guy running for the bus. I knew he wasn't gonna make it. Uh, I'm already running behind, but uh, you know, I'm a driver. What a, what's my hurry? I'm not, I gotta hurry up and wait. Every, mm -hmm. It's just got hurry up and wait. So I waited for him, pulled over, you know, he comes. Uh, it was funny because everyone on the bus started clapping and they were like cheering me on. And I took him to the VA. Later on, I picked him up, he had some food for me, and I thought that was pretty cool, you know? What do I love about driving a bus? Honestly, I, I like to drive, you know? Uh, my spare time, I used to love to uh, just cruise Central, you know? And uh, the fact that now, I get paid to do it, it's like, you know, I love it, you know what I mean? Uh, That's awesome. I like getting people to work, you know? Cause there's a lot of people with different life form of life that ride the bus, you know, and, and before I work here, you didn't I don't I didn't realize that. So it feels good just knowing that I did my part for the city, basically. Okay, something I would recommend to people that ride the bus every day. Um, just arrive a little bit early, be patient, schedules change every couple months sometimes. Uh, sometimes, you know, say the driver's been busy all day and he only has a two minute break up on top. Well, maybe he had to go to the restroom and he, now he's 10 minutes late. Don't think the bus left, don't be quick to call, it will show up. And uh, yeah, I say just be a little patient, you know, we're a little bit short staffed, but we're, we're working on that and uh, we'll be there soon. What would I recommend to new bus drivers starting out? Definitely just show up. Just show up. That's the hardest part is just showing up. You show up, everything else will fall into place. Show up is the hardest part. 
But if you show up, I promise you, everything in your life is going to get better. Everything overall from A to Z. You know, there's sometimes where things snowball all bad. Working here, showing up, everything will snowball all good. I promise you that. I definitely feel safe at work. Uh, I feel like, me personally, I'm big on respect. I respect every passenger. We're all humans. I'm big on that. I don't consider myself better than anyone. We're all equal. And for that reason, I feel 100% safe. There's a lot of people that look at this job as, oh, it's dangerous. It's really not, to be honest. You stay in your lane, they stay in their lane. You know, it's just, uh, mutual respect for one another you know as, as men as women everybody um i feel like if any altercations happen nine times out of ten it could have been avoided and um drivers play a big role in this you know it's a city bus it's not our bus it's not my bus you'll never hear me say get off my bus it's not my bus we're all equal you know let's just carry that carry yourself with respect and everybody will respect you and you'll walk it believe me it gets a long way on the street and we, we drive on the streets for a living, so we gotta carry ourselves right. Yeah, and everybody that's tuning in, thanks for watching. Uh, I know some of you guys are gonna make fun of me, but it's all good. I love you all, you know? <laughs>